Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix on arc.dll returned an error code 11. Alright, you know on arc.dll is a dynamic kink for library for Windows which can be used to some specific programs properly. So if the on arc.dll is missing, the program can't work normally and you may encounter the error of the on arc.dll missing or the issue of the on arc.dll returned an error code. So what we're going to do to fix this is to simply go to your search bar right here, type in CMD and make sure that it is run as administrator. Go ahead and click on yes. All right, now what we're going to type here, simply type in these commands right here that I'm going to write. All right gp update space forward slash force once done simply hit on enter all right after that you're going to want to enter these commands as well cls space dash dash and refresh all right once done hit enter wait for the process to finish and you're going to want to go ahead and type in exit and hit enter all right now what you're going to do next is go to your favorite browser right here, type in dll-files.com and hit enter. Now all you have to do is find these two DLLs right here. Number one is um, the is done, is done.dll, hit enter and as you can see here is done.dll is in the website so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So from this page, you're going to want to scroll down and make sure that you will download the latest version. Once you found the latest version, go ahead and click on the download button right here. Your download will start in, in a moment. All right. As you can see here, just go ahead and save it to your desktop so you can locate it easily later. Save. All right. Is done.zip is done downloading. What we're going to download next is the onarc.dll. DLL. Hit enter. Click on onarc.dll, scroll down, and simply hit on download right here, and wait for the uh, download process. All right, as you can see, onarc is done. So go I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it is saved to desktop as well. Next step is to close this one. All right, as you can see here, we have uh, two raw files right here. What we're going to do here is extract one one raw file and extract another file later. All right, first is done extract files here all right we don't need the readme you can delete that make sure that you have it uh cut then go to the directory right here c windows all right system 32 then you can simply go ahead and paste this thing right here all right simply hit on continue next we're just going to want to minimize this one because we're going to use it later Delete this one and extract on our raw file. Extract here. Again, we don't need the readme file. Just go ahead and cut this one. Go back to the folder and paste it right here. All right. After that, you're going to want to go ahead and open CMD again. CMD. Then run as administrator. Hit yes. Then untype these commands right here. All right. Make sure to follow. Reg SVR. 32 space is done dot dll hit enter wait for the process to finish and after that you can go ahead and type in a uh, reg svr 32 again then on art dot dll hit enter wait for the process to finish and once done you're uh, gonna well go ahead and type in exit right here all right after that just restart your computer boot up and uh, check if it helps now, if that won't help, as you might remember, let's uh, let's go back to the uh, Windows folder right here. All right, as you can see, the System32, right? If pasting it to System32 won't work, you can go ahead and try to paste both DLLs right there. All right? By following these steps earlier that I just taught you, to Syswell64, you could paste it right here, all right? And check if it helps. And that is it. I hope this video helps and please don't forget to share this video to your friends and if you find this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe thank you for watching goodbye